Good morning, it's James. Hey, it's so good to see you this morning. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. I'm deeply grateful to have the honor and the blessing of laying eyes on you. And I do hope and pray that this message finds you and all the people that you love peaceful, thriving, and very, very well. Absolutely, I pray that you are finding yourself peaceful and thriving. You know, I've thought a lot about you over these last few days, been thinking about your energy, thinking about your willingness to uh, continue to do the deep work, and really wanted to share with you today that um, my heart is just calling out to you to let you know that you're not alone. I know that um, the path that we're walking right now really is asking a lot of us right now to be peaceful, to thrive, to continue to be very well when so much of the world is really showing us so much of contrast to that. And I want to speak today directly to the science of something I've been really, really digging into because I think we need to know, and I'm a big, I'm a big fan of setting intentions, but I'm a much, much bigger fan of the follow through. I think our mind really loves and inspired by intentions, but our soul, mm, it is inspired by our follow through, really, really needs to see us follow through. So I want to speak about resilience today, and um, there's a lot of ways that we can define resilience. You may have your own ways, and uh, all too often it's like just kind of this is this is resilience. This is when I'm I'm holding my hands up, I'm keeping things from coming in. And there's a I like to say there's much more a beautiful and elegant resilience. And that is where I'm holding myself up. Good energy is going out, and I have an awareness of how I'm not going to allow negative energy, dark energy to come in and overwhelm me and overtake me. That is the kind of resilience I want to speak about today. And the science is super clear. And that, you know, they, they talk a lot about people who have really developed a practice of resilience and how no matter what's going on around the world, they're able to stay in the center. They're able to hold their heart open. They're able to keep their beautiful light. And I want so, I want so much for all of us. I want so much for you to feel the sense of resilience and that sense of empowerment, and also a peaceful way that we can walk through life today, being a beneficial presence and not letting the light dim. So we start to, how should we say, acquiesce to what's going on around us, what we rise above and give what's going on around us an opportunity to see what love and light and empowerment and compassion and all the good looks like. And this is a really easy way to remember this is three C's that science has shown us to consider when we want to build our resilience. Contribution, community, character. Contribution, character, community. <laughs> I mean, I get those right. <laughs> I am so good with my dyslexia and my recall. So let's talk about contribution. I think that everyone here in this world of spirituality right now is going, man, I'm having a more difficult time contributing. I'm, uh, it's all I can do to keep my own light on, all I can do to keep my own practice going. Well, make no mistake, keeping your light on, doing your personal practice, doing the spiritual work is contribution. Because the more that we can be in the world and not of the world, be vessels for peace, be demonstrations of peace, carry that everywhere we go, that is a beautiful and very powerful, significant contribution. Second C is character. Goes back to what I was saying a moment ago about the idea that our mind is inspired by intentions, but our soul is inspired by our follow through. Our follow through right now is character. We set great intentions for how we want to be leading our life, the kind of person that we want to show up and be. We want to make good on our good intentions. Our character is in the balance of our follow through. So let's all together just commit to making promises to ourselves. And more importantly, let's keep these promises. Whether it's a meditation promise, whether it's putting clean food and your clean fuel and food into your body, whether it's just walking around the planet and being that person, when people look at you, they go, wow, that's integrity at a spiritual level. That's character being demonstrated and personified. That is a person who's carrying good in their heart. And lastly, community. What we're doing here each and every morning in the treehouse, and I know it's what you're doing in the world around you, is cultivating community. We are always stronger, we're always better, we're always, we're always more together. And community right now is really, really important 
We need to know that we're not alone and we need to know that we can align and belong in a place that we can keep our heart wide open. We can be vulnerable. We can be open. We can know that when we're not feeling as good and as strong and as empowered as we'd like, we can still show up. When we're feeling depressed, when we're feeling anxious, when we're feeling tired, when we're feeling sad, we can still show up. This community is about all of those things and the authenticity of community and the vulnerability of community, the openness and love of this community. Thank you for being a part of this community. Character, contribution, community. Resilience, holding ourselves up strong, putting good out in the world, and being discerning about what we allow in so we can keep ourselves full of light, full of love, and full of the willingness to continually be who we came here to be. Have an awesome day. Much love. All blessings. Bye for now.